today's tutorial uh, we will design a simple web page using HTML script suppose this is our page design in the top of the page here will be our main title under this subtitle header side menu and footer whole page contains five sections one two three four and five and uh, I will uh, use div tag to design this HTML page. So for this, I am uh, starting from the scratch. So open a new HTML page. To design this type of structure, I have to use uh, one, two, three, four, and five div tags at one main text so first i will declare the main tag main div tag there are four rows one two three four so under the main div there will be four div And uh, according to the design, in the third row there are two columns. So I will divide the uh, I will add two more divs in third divs. Okay. This is first child div, second child div. Third child div and another two childs of third child div. So first we have to uh, define the height of our first div. So according to the design the height will be like this. So I am uh, using a simple CSS to define the height. Uh, suppose I am giving it 20 px and uh, giving bottom border border bottom and uh, border uh, style will be solid after adding this code uh, we have to save the uh, main index file index.stm okay. so here we can see the uh, we have to increase the height of the first div so I am setting 50 px now height is uh, approximately ok our next portion is to main title and subtitle whatever you want to write here you can add in the script uh, I am just using center tag to make the title centralized mm. 
main title you can uh, type your uh, index page or page title here this is our page and uh, first portion is completed you can increase the uh, size of your font using css or any heading i am going to the next part uh, is a second row header and uh, using the same code i can set the height for the second day. Just typing header here. Here you can add any top menu or uh, any other text or logo header. Our second part is uh, already completed and here a header is in the middle for this uh, you can add break here uh, increase the uh, height of this div a little more These two parts are completed. In the third row, uh, there are another two divs uh, with uh, right side border. So to add this border and contain, I will add this style with another styling property. Uh, height will be 120px width width uh, will be here you can uh, set width value by px or percentage I am using percentage here suppose 22 percent border right and uh, another css property float have to use here i will explain the use of float in my css tutorial or css class uh, here uh, the function of the float to align the d with left alignment okay next the content of this div will be table, image, audio, video, and form. Table, table, image, audio. video and form save and again run the view ok this is the height of our uh, div I have to increase this value 
so I'm going to set it 400 400 px you can check the output uh, looks is uh, similar this is our content there is another um, title of the content site menu so you can add this title here site menu okay you can uh, you have to add two breaks here to make the looks like that or use any headline okay for the next step uh, another tip this will be blank deep and uh, and this is our that blind uh, here I will uh, set the height and width value of this tip but uh, no right side border Yeah. Mm. and there is no right side border is used and uh, the, if this is 20 percent then uh, it will be 80 percent so I am using uh, one person less for the border so our uh, first child is, uh, is 22 percent so it will be 87 percent sorry uh, it will be uh, 70 7 percent it okay it will be 77 percent and uh, this G will be initially empty Okay, this part is completed and next section is footer. For footer, uh, I can uh, copy the second div style to the last div. Copy. This, this is our last div. And paste. Here, I have to use both left, both left. Okay, it is arrived right here, but the width, I have to set the width property to make uh, to uh, fill up the full space of the browser so here add read property read 100 percent this save okay now the structure of the page is completed main title subtitle header footer and side name main title subtitle header footer and the menu but these menus are using anchor element to display the content when the table tag is click then a table will be display when the image tag is clicked then the image will be display when audio tag will click 
then an audio will be displayed. The video text, the video will be displayed, and for form text, a form will display. So this is our contain area, and uh, this is our link. Here I have just added the text. So now I have to create five HTML pages to link with this text. First of all, I am going to add, create a table, HTML table. In our previous tutorial, I have explained different. Uh, I have explained uh, table text. So here I am going to use this text. With this, uh, I have to add a new HTML page. I will leave in a simple table here. So, table. Table. Tia. There are three rows and three columns of the table. Copy, paste, again, paste. Same way, fill will be copy here. For uh, Another row, just copy the fold here. Now add the container name, address, phone. Come on. Okay. Okay, our table is completed now. Save the table. Keep the name of the table as table.html. Our table uh, HTML is completed. Now I can create link for the table text. Thank you. href table dot HTML. And here I will use target attribute. Target. Initially, I am keeping target empty and I will assign the target value later. Cut and curly tag will be after table text. Okay, when curly is created, and uh, what value will we go here in this as a target value? 
okay this is our contain div contain div means this area in this area i will use iframe to display the content of this link so under this div one iframe will be declared iframe sorry iframe iframe yeah uh, we have to set the name of the iframe which will be used as the target value and giving the name content content and uh, another attribute frame border which will be set zero to make the border invisible so name of the iframe is contained so the target value target value will be contained So here you can see the link is created and when I click the link the output will be look like this. So first link is created, second is to add emails in our web page. For this I will create another HTML document and uh, our image file is here. And this is our EMS file, bmw 3 jpg You can use any EMS file and uh, I have already explained how to add image in, a, in any HTML document. Here I will repeat it again. Okay, to add any EMS just use img tag source bmw3 dot jpg height 200 width 200 alt image not found image not found Okay, save the document. In the same location where is your index.html. Okay, our image file is ready. Now we can create link for the image text. Copy. Paste. Image, image dot html okay in tag for the anchor element don't forget to add this tag now check the link is working or not refresh image tag is created uh, sorry image link is created here is our image. Next is to add audio contained in the HTML document. This is our audio text and here you can see the audio file. In the name of the audio file is melody.wave. I am uh, using audio tag to add this audio file in this document. Again, I am using this anchor tag. Sorry. Again, I am using this anchor tag. Copy. 
and paste the audio file i have to first create the audio file and uh, suppose the name of the audio file will be audio.html audio.html new html and uh, use audio audio tag and uh, source attribute will be used uh, to attach the audio file the name of our audio file is melody dot wave controls controls okay save the file as audio dot html audio sorry audio dot html save so this file is created save the document and run the code audio here you can see the audio file is running next part uh, is to create video video and form video here uh, there is uh, something missing which is in check of the anchor element for this this two takes are also showing link now this is corrected and uh, i am adding link for video text now for this at first uh, i will create the video that is html file and use video tag to attach the video video uh, the name of the video to attach is br.ogg that I have used in my previous tutorial br.ogg for source source br. To add the video content, I have to add source attribute equal to the name of our video file is br.ogg br.ogg add controls attribute to add controller in the browser Okay, now save the file as video.html. Now add the file link here. at the end tag save run the file video tag is added
I didn't change the file name here. So file name will be video dot stm. So to display the full video, I have to increase the height and width of uh, right frame. Height 200 px, weight weight 300. Save. Refresh. Uh, I can increase. The size so 500 and uh, 500, 500 and 600. Okay, so mm, I have to decrease the height. The lower left the border 300 okay now it's okay uh, next part is to add form for this I will create a form file form and tag suppose I am uh, going to create a login form in tabular form Username Input Type Text Replace this line. And uh, the fee will be password. Third row, I will use uh, call expense to mask to sell. So remove one TD and uh, the content will be a submit button.
save the file as form.html in the same location. Okay, now add the link. There is something tag error here, so I will correct it. There is the tag error. Starting tag in tag, starting tag in tag, starting tag in tag. Okay, now it is correct. Save and run again. So this is our form. This is the table. This is the image. This is the audio file. This is the video file. And this is the form. Now I think our page is exactly look like the template and there is one uh, background color is used you can uh, use any background color without CSS or using CSS for this uh, I am using without CSS <coughs> BG color Equal to blue. So this is our background. 